Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the MSI Thin GF63 12V. For removing the bottom plate, you have to undo 12 Phillips head screws. That's the easy part. You can start the prying process from the front of the device, and you can leave the back side for the end. Then you have to flip the laptop and pop up the small cap behind the lid. After that, you can pry the last section with a plastic tool. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The 52.4 watt hour battery is glued to the chassis, which is a bit of a nightmare if you want to take it out. The unit has enough juice for 6 hours and 40 minutes of web browsing, or 6 hours and 15 minutes of video playback. That's an okay result considering the small capacity and the Thirsty H series CPU. MSI uses double-sided tape for fixing the battery to the base. The tape is extra sticky and taking off the battery isn't very easy. The easiest way to ungluing the unit is to start from its left side. From there on, you can work away around the battery but you have to be very careful. Note that we unglued the battery in advance for the purpose of this video in order to avoid possible damage. That's why the disassembly footage of the battery removal looks easier than it actually is. Keep in mind that it's really hard to pull out the connector from the main board if the battery isn't removed. The touchpad is placed right below the battery, so if you are working harshly, you can break something. There are two SODIMs for up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz memory and dual channel. For storage, we can spot a single M.2 slot compatible with Gen 4 SSDs and a SATA slot for regular SSDs or HDDs. There are two thick thermal pads placed beneath the pre-installed NVMe for extra cooling. The cooling has a single fan, one heat pipe shared between the CPU and the GPU, and one more dedicated to each chip. The rest is two heat sinks, a metal plate above the graphics memory and the VRMs, and two heat spreaders. 